Hello everyone, this is just a quick informational video on some of the updates we've done to the Subfox install. Let's get started. Click yes on the security confirmation dialog when you're installing it and you're now faced with a new language selection option. Here you can select your desired language. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to select English and click OK. You'll notice that we have uh, changed the installer imaging um, to make it all nice and neat and stuff. <laughs> Okay, so uh, once you're here at the start of the wizard, click next. Click accept on the license agreement and click next. Here's where you can select the install directory where you'd like to install Cyberfox. Here is where you can create your start menu uh, entries. Uh, you can name, give a custom name to the start menu folder, or you can select this option here, which is don't create a start menu folder at all. Next, you have additional icons. This check this and you can create a desktop icon. Here for Australis UI to install uh, by default it's checked and it installs Cyber CTR which gives you the classic look as well as Australis with extra features and customization. If you uncheck this it'll just install the vanilla Australis. For this the start page color if this is checked, it'll install the light ha about home page. If unchecked, uh, it'll install the uh, dark by default. Click next. Here's where you can check over what options you have selected and make sure they're correct before you continue. Click install. We have uh, changed how the Cyber CTR is installed. It now extracts it from an archive. That way, it installs it faster than copying over all the files. Here is where you can select if you want Cyberfox to be your default web browser and to launch it after installation is complete. Finish and click finish. Here is where we've made some changes to Cyberfox installer. You can no longer install Cyberfox while um, Cyberfox is running uh, to prevent people installing over the top of uh, current installation that is active being used. Um, to prevent uh, data corruption and basically a bad experience. So here you can get a, you'll get a message that about the process running to please close it and then continue again. It's also uh, translated, so when you select a different language, it'll appear in a different language. Here is the uninstall dialog. When you uninstall Subfox and you click yes to remove all Subfox components you'll be faced with an additional dialog. This additional dialog will ask you would you like to delete your profile data. This will delete your user profile. Uh, if you do if you do delete your user profile this data cannot be recovered. It's permanent. It can't be undone. So we've added an additional security confirmation. So do you want to delete your profile data? Click yes. Are you sure this cannot be undone? and click yes to confirm, no to cancel and no on the other one to cancel that one as well and your data is successfully removed I um, hope you like this tutorial uh, just gonna quickly run through in another language here we're going to select German and as you can see it translates most of the text um, the additional components we've added has been translated by Google Translate, so please forgive any um, mistranslations. If you can be kind enough to provide a correct translation, that would be very helpful. 99% uh, of it's translated, so um, yeah, it should make it easier for everyone to uh, use and read. Thank you, hope you enjoyed this quick informational video, have a good day or evening.